Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, I'm going to have a look at repeating patterns and how you can easily create a repeating pattern in Canva. Now, these are really great for kind of like print on demand things. And, you know, it's a way that you can probably earn some money by using your designs in Canva and using the free elements. You can use the free elements in order to create print on demand items. So let's dive into Canva and have a look at how we can create this repeating pattern in Canva. Okay, so we're going to come over to Canva and what we're going to actually have a look at is how you can create a repeating pattern that has a seamless, it's a seamless repeating pattern. Now, if you create a pattern and you can see down here like this, it's not going to be seamless. So what I'm going to show you is how you can take that and then make it seamless. But what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to create our design and we're going to create a custom size and we're going to create it 4,000 by 4,000. Just start off with something nice and big and that's going to give us plenty of space to then add the elements to our design that we want to. Now I'm going to go with um, what it's up to you what you want to put on your repeating pattern. I'm going to go with fruit. So we're going to come over here and I'm just going to filter that out to the free elements and we're going to come over to graphics so we can see and we're just going to throw on some of these and if we come down to our magic recommendations they can kind of like then have a very similar look and feel and we're just going to throw in some of these strawberries uh, what else do we want we don't want a lemon we might want a pear or an apple drag all these out however we want we're going to want different sizes and shapes I'm just dragging these out so I can see what what elements I've got to play with. Now, you know, that, yeah, that technically, that is a pattern. You can just resize things, make things kind of different rotation so it looks a little bit different. Don't want it to look too uniform. Uniform? Uniformed? Uniformed. So you might want to put the pear down here grapes there what else can we go with we can go with a banana let's have a banana there and then let's have some cherries so a little bit red on that side so I'm gonna bring the orange over that side I'm gonna put the cherries just over here now great you say that's really nice we're gonna just gonna call this pattern one now these are all SVG files so what we want to do is we want to download this, but we want to download it with a transparent background in order to, it's going to give us a better print quality later on. So we're going to come to download. We're going to download it as a PNG with a transparent background. And you can increase the size if you wanted to, you could make this double the size, but we're going to stick with 4,000 by 4,000. I'm going to call it just pattern one. We're going to download that. And then all we're going to do is we're going to come to our uploads and I'm going to drag that pattern into my uploads. Then all we want to do is we want to click on add a new page. Okay, now we've got this pattern. We're going to bring it in, just click it and it'll pop it onto the screen. We're going to just drag that out to make it the full size of the, of the canvas that we want. And all we're going to do, first of all, we're going to drag it to the side. And you'll see if I drag it to the side, to the middle, that the middle line comes up. If you wanted to, you can drag your rulers over. And you can see that when I drag that over, it's got 2,000 on there. And we're going to drag one down to 2,000 in there as well. So we've got our guidelines on there, so we can see and make sure that we're lining things up correctly. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the Option key and drag that across. And that's going to copy it. You can also do Control C, Control V, if you wanted to. So I can do Control C, Control V, and that also creates another copy of that. So now you see, that's great. We've created a bit of a pattern, and now if we exported that, it would create a bit of a better pattern. However, there's this big white line down here, or it would create a white line down in the middle. Let me just show you what I mean. So if you can see down the middle here it would create kind of quite a distinctive white line so that's not a 
a seamless pattern. What we're going to want to do is we're going to come back to our graphics and we're going to see recently used and let's say we want some more we want some more fruit. So let's come down here. We're going to come to free elements and graphics and do, 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 do. what should we go with? Let's go with we want to kind of like stick with the same kind of look. So I'm going to click on this one again and click see all on our magic recommendations because that's going to give us some items that look very similar. So we're just going to click that off there. Let's bring a peach in here. I can put a peach in there. What else can I put in? I could put a pear in here or a lemon. So we're kind of just filling that space and I'm going to spin it around as well. So it kind of fills that space a little bit better. And then let's say what else do we want? We could have another another pair if we wanted to. Let's put the pair up here. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep the fruit within inside the actual canvas. That's the word canvas. Because if you go outside the canvas, when you come to repeat this pattern, part of this is already missing and you're not going to be able to match it up. By doing it the way that I'm showing you, you're going to be able to match up the fruit. So when we take it this side to that side, you can see that this is going to match up. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to now export this on the thing. And we're going to call this pattern 2. And we're going to count, download that as a PNG could also download it as an SVG file because it keeps your graphics a little bit sharper. In fact, I recommend keeping it as an SVG file because that's going to allow you to scale and resize better. So for pattern two, we're going to come to downloads. We're going to come to SVG with a transparent background. Make sure you click on transparent background because that's going to make sure that you can change the background color if you wanted to or you needed to. It's also going to make it easier when you upload it to your print on demand item. You get, it's going to create that transparent background and you're going to be able to change the color and background as well. So we don't want all two pages. We just want page two. OK, so now that's uploaded, we're going to just click to bring that back onto our template or our canvas. Is what we've remembered what it's called. And what we're going to do now is going to drag that down to the bottom, not to the bottom, halfway. Okay, you can see it does come up halfway. Again, you can bring the guidelines in if you wanted to. Just check there and then just option and drag that up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our elements and we're going to add in some additional elements in this area. So again, choose the different rotations. Might want to make the apple upside down. Put that in here so kind of like you're filling in the spaces in this middle part here I'm going to bring in I really like the melon so I'm going to bring in the melon and I want that to be a different rotation to the other melon just so it doesn't look too uniform -al. uniform uniformed and let's say Let's put it there. What else can we put in there? We've got a kiwi. So let's go back to here and see. No, recently used. We come over to recently used, we can see there. We can put the kiwi in here. And again, make sure you're not going off the edge of your canvas because that's going to, when you come up to do your final download it's not going to match up because it's going to have something going off that edge so you can do that and I feel like I want something there it's not going to be the banana we've already got the banana let's have a small bunch of grapes and you can play about with all sorts of things I'm just doing fruit on this one but you can do all sorts of kind of like different graphics 
you could do kind of like lines that's not what I want I want graphics there we go all these sorts of lines and you want to just make sure you're just using the free ones so you apply to the free ones and then for some reason that's not filtering out for me as to the free ones but just make sure that it is a free line that you're using and you can then add those in there and it comes however you want it to to look so there you go so we've moved the we've created a single an original design this one and we've kept that kind of quite spaced out we then exported that as a transparent png or svg svg is going to be better because they're vector files and that's going to mean you can resize better if you export it as an svg we then moved it to the left and to the right we created two copies once we re-uploaded it and then we've done the same thing but we've then done moved it up and down and then we've each time we've imported it we filled in the gaps kind of like along the middle so it kind of doesn't look like it's got that white line across the top or, or going up or down or left or right so now we've done that we're going to call this one pattern three and we're just going to download that now it will depend on your print on demand services to how you export this i had a look at something on printful and what i had to do is i had to download this as a print pdf and that's going to give you the 300 dpi which you'll need and in fact that's what i would recommend you using is the th print pdf and you just download that and that's going to allow you to then upload that to your print on demand and you can create something funky like this pair of leggings i'd love to see what you create let me know down in the comments what you're going to use this for if this has been helpful if you've got any questions let me know down in the comments and also check out the link in the description if you need a 45 day trial to canva don't forget to click like and subscribe and until next time thank you very much and bye for now you